Hi, today we're going to be reviewing some microphones and I just got this in a few days ago. This is the Poston RM650 and just taking a peek inside the box, this is a company that tells you thank you for purchasing our products and also it doesn't matter if the item is $99 or $2,000. Look at this. What do we ever see? A nice little tissue in between and besides the little tissue here, you're going to see a case that is made of a very soft leatherish material and the inside is foam laser cut to fit your microphone. Everything here is about presentation and appreciation to your purchase. Now, uh, you expect to find a box like this, plastic, and this is not the case here. So it doesn't matter if you purchase something that costs 99 bucks from them or a thousand bucks, two thousand dollars. They're gonna come like this. At least uh, this is the first box that I've received from Paulson, and I was very surprised and very impressed with the uh, the little details because to me that matters. So when you open the box, this is the first thing that you're gonna encounter here, and here's the case. A little carrying thing here. This is the mic itself. has an XLR on the bottom. Here's the actual shock mount. And this has a 5 8 mount and also comes with a 3 8 adapter. To mount the microphone, you can just mount it over here and grab it from the center and tighten it. When you have it upside down, make sure it is absolutely tightened and do not turn the microphone because we're actually going to be unscrewing this here and your microphone is going to collapse down, okay? So once you have it tightened here, mounted on a stand, do not try to move or adjust the microphone. Flip it over, make your adjustment, check if it is tightened again, and then you put it this, this way. The same exact way with any mic that you mount it upside down, if you try to move the microphone, it will fall. Make sure it is fully inserted and then mounted on the stand and do not touch the microphone. Same exact thing with this guy here. So I'm pretty sure you guys clicked on this video to actually hear how this microphone sounds. So I'm going to skip all the technical stuff which is readily available at the b &H website. All that geeky stuff down to, down to the smallest detail. So I'm just going to hit the uh, sound booth there and show you guys immediately how this microphone sounds and performs. All right, I'm on my sound booth right now, which is the proper place to test microphones. And as you can see, it captures very nice highs, words with C or S, and also plosives. It's holding pretty well, given the distance that I'm speaking on the microphone here, which is less than three inches away. And also this microphone sounds great for podcast, narration, and other similar applications. So next, which is very important, I'm going to be testing the noise floor on this microphone. I'm going to be quiet here for 10 seconds. Actually, noise floor is almost non-existent. And this sound booth, you can hear your heartbeat here and your ears pop actually. As soon as you close the door, you can hear everything. So it's pretty scary here sometimes. So next test, I'm gonna be testing the uh, pop-up filter here, which comes included a pretty decent pop-up filter. As you can see, pom 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 without it. Pom, 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 pom. So as you can see, it makes a pretty good difference. I'm speaking about two or three inches from the microphone. So most words with P, it stops pretty good. If you want to speak louder or if you have a strong plosive, you can actually still speak on axis and have your breath that way, which the microphone is still getting 100% of my voice, but I can go, poof, 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 you know, nothing happens. But when you speak normal, like, you know, Paul, Peter, you know, you can back up a little bit, Paul, Peter, or here, pa, pa, pa. Pa, 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 pa. this is the without the filter. So if you are very picky and want to stop 100% the pop-up noise, all you gotta do is buy a professional pop-up filter like this, so you can go, <laughs> nothing happens, okay? So this actually does a very good job, but if you wanna go all out, you should buy a pop-up filter which is a perfect addition to this microphone. And this one inch diaphragm here can pick up the smallest detail, the smallest nuances on everything. So I'm going to be actually emitting some sounds from my mouth and you can hear how much detail this microphone can capture. 
at this price. Even from here. So if you want a quiet room like this, you can pretty much pick up everything. Next, I'm gonna be testing the uh, shock mount on this microphone here, which is very, very nice. And there's no need to lower the volume on your video. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be blowing up your speakers because I also don't wanna damage my own speakers when I'm editing this video. I'm gonna be showing you what the shock mount is doing and when you touch the microphone itself, what it does. Now the shock mount. Also, I'm going to be touching the stand as well. I mean, you're going to hear something because you're actually touching the thing. You know, this is not a, a silencer. It's just a shock mount. I'm also going to be banging on the XLR on purpose. My headphone cable. Everything is connected on this stand here where this microphone is. And every time I'm speaking, looking at the camera, I'm not getting the, you're not getting the full um, sound of my voice, the whole presence of the vocal here. So every time I do this, the sound might lose a little bit on a high frequency because sometimes I get distracted with the camera. So the correct way to speak on the microphone is this way here. So another thing that they describe in the listing that this microphone can handle is high SPL, which stands for sound pressure level. So again, you don't need to lower your volume. I'm going to be shouting on this microphone. But all I need to do is turn on the pad here and occasionally adjust my gain. So you don't have to do anything on your end. So I'm going to be shouting now. You see how low the recording is right now. So I'm watching my levels, looking at the camera there. Should be pretty good. Hello. Testing. One, two, three. Yes, I'm testing the microphone. Hello. McFly. Anybody home? Hello. Testing. One, two, three. When you shout at this distance, you are as loud as 120 decibels, almost like it is a snare drum right in your ear. Okay, so I, uh, if the microphone didn't handle it, it's because it is extremely loud. So I'm going to be doing another test here, not so much screaming. Back to the pad. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Testing, testing. So this will be the uh, loud SPL that you would expect an actor to sound like or a vocalist, you know, not screaming like crazy. So there you go. The test is done for both cases, some stupid shouting and or some acceptable high level of sounds on this microphone here. And I'm not a narrator at all, so I'll be the last person somebody would ever hire as a narrator. But uh, before I got this microphone here, I don't know what the deal is because everyone can sound amazing on this thing. Check this out. Whether you are recording in a professional or a project studio or at home, the RM650 sets up quickly and offers a rich and natural sound for your broadcast, podcast or vocals. He also sounds great on a guitar. How do I sound? Even your neighbor can sound great on this. Even your ex-girlfriend, your next girlfriend, everyone will sound amazing. I don't know what's going on with my voice, but I like it. And it seems like I have lost my Brazilian accent for three seconds. What happened? I don't know. Talking about accent, I have a few accents that I can do. Uh, my favorite one is the uh, like an older person with a very thick and heavy accent plus broken English. Thank you for calling B&H. Yes, I would like to place order as quickly as possible. Huh? Yesterday I go to B&H and I see our M microphone pulsing. And I decide to purchase mic and $99.99 .99 to me, it's pretty good. What do you think? And there is one more thing. You do not purchase this microphone by today. I'm gonna have to send two of my guys to your place to pay you visit and you do not want this. Huh? Now taking advantage of how the microphone sound, I'm gonna be also showing off a little bit my language skills. Aí galera, vamos ver se esse microfone realmente vale os 99 dólares que estão pedindo. Se esse microfone, nisi huanting down the ma, 
हंसन स्वयं पाई हावला मेरा नाम कृपा कर है आप सुमिर कर खुशी हुई मुझे तोरी तोर हिंदी आती है स्तफते ओ दुरुस्त तई वन दोनियुस तिन दुलक तु तयु इस्तो नमत पत्रोस के तुयु के तुवायु पनेद मतोस ya que estamos aquí vamos a averiguar si esas cosas realmente valen los 99 pesos que esa gente pide and that should conclude the review and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up please like and subscribe to this channel don't forget to hit the notification bell and also if you like to comment we love comments we will respond to everyone's comment day or night once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a good day or a good night